Maybe I'm getting sick and tired of all the other girls fawning over you. So I'm gonna take this time to make sure that you belong to me. Listen, at some point in all of our lives, you fumbled the bag. You've all done it. Whether it was a game, a test, or even a crush. Not me though, I am perfect. I've been watching a lot of romances recently, and the more I watch, the more I realize how much some of these characters be fumbling for. It. And after searching, I've noticed no one has even talked about this, so I wanted to do it myself. Hey my cool cats and fine felines, welcome to the biggest fumbles in anime. In this video, we'll be looking at a couple of fumble moments from across all forms of media, including manhwa and cartoons. With that being said, let's start with a fairly recent one. Rudius can't get it up. It's with our boy, Rudius. So after Eris leaves him, a depressed Rudius ends up with a new group of adventurers called Counter Arrow, where he meets Sarah. This Sarah is very snappy and aggressive with him early on, mostly because of how gloomy he was. Eventually, after some time spent together and Rudius saving her life, she warms up to Rudius and even takes an interest in him. Rose Rudius meter went from 0 to 101 action. And look at this man, she wants him for real. So on her request, Rudius takes her to his chambers. And as they're getting into it, something comes up. <laughs> or should I say, stays down. Rudius is, um, Johnson can't get up, you feel me? And this man is so shook, he's just stood there staring at his uninterested junk. Now imagine this from Sarah's perspective. You like this guy? Go as far as to give yourself up for this man's body to be like. <laughs> so it's understandable when she puts back on her clothes and leaves. Not even wanting to talk to this man for real. It's explained later that he has ED due to the error situation. But cha boy. Bro get to 99% in geometry dash and just flopped it. <laughs> Next up is actually from the first anime I ever reviewed, Helping the Competition. In this romance anime called Waiting in the Summer, the childhood friend Kana likes the main character Kaito, but he likes this alien girl named Ichika. In episode I think it was 10, Ichika starts distancing herself from Kaito since her existence on earth can be detrimental to their lives and just searches for what she came to earth for in the first place, putting Kaito and her relationship at risk. Kana who has been trying and trying at every opportunity to get Kaito to look her way but has failed each time, finally has her chance. But instead, she chose to be a good friend and give homegirl a pep talk and set things straight. I wouldn't exactly call this one a fumble, but she did cry her heart out after this, so I guess? <coughs> Two on the grind. <coughs> This one comes from one of my favorite spin-offs from Lokism, Questism. Long and short of the premise is Suyon the MC has to follow quests to unlock abilities. So a buddy's last quest was to get a kiss from homegirl right here and he got it. So the next day, Shirin I think that's what her name was, asks him how he feels about her, especially because of that smooch they shared. Now Suyon tells her to meet him at this place. As Shirin arrives, she waits for her answer to only hear that this man wants to open a restaurant with her as the chef. It seems that the system made his quest so that he has to open a restaurant with her. So without addressing anything that happened between them, he gave this proposal to her and she was asking him the whole day about his feelings for her but he just ignored them. So she rightfully got upset and gut punched him before leaving. Out of all of the ones that I have talked about so far, this is the first genuine fumble in my opinion. Instead of assessing the emotions of the situation, he didn't lock in and fumbled hard. But as bad as this was, this doesn't even compare to the next one. Mordecai dumps his girlfriend at a wedding. <laughs> A freaking wedding. Alright, so premise. Mordecai notices that he and CJ are starting to get a little distant. And as usual, he has Margaret on his mind again. He has a chat with Rigby and Rigby tells him to just follow his gut. After Muscle Man crashing out, they find Muscle Dad's letter and Mordecai reads it out. As soon as they are about to say their I do's, Mordecai cuts them off and starts yapping about soulmates and how he doesn't think he has found his perfect soulmate yet. And it's like, it could be you, or you, 
and points at multiple people except for his current girlfriend. Imagine how awkward this had to be. Even Rigby was like, this ain't it chief. You know it bad way Rigby is the voice of reason. So of course CJ catches on and runs out crying. And I gotta say, most man is so patient. Cause all he had to say was, oh you done interrupting my wedding bro? And when the lumbo hits day, this could not be me bro. I was swinging. <laughs> This fumble wasn't even bro's fault for real. Miles was told to address sweet girl as president at all times and gets upset when he calls her it when they were getting intimate. If you haven't figured it out already, I'm talking about the infamous president is president from high school DXD. <laughs> I have to speed run this one so that my video doesn't get age restricted. Chris begins to want a more personal relationship with Ise instead of a master and servant dynamic. Bro bros in the shower, Sweet Girl advances on him. And matter of fact, Brody clip. Man, I can't find a way to get my feet wet, man. I can't deal with this no more. Huh? Wait, that's the door? Wait, uh, oh, shoot. Oh, Ise. Fancy nice seeing you here. Nobody goes bless me like this. I ain't a trap but booty naked. No. Where do you think you're going? Come here. We will have a little chat, you see? I am getting sick and tired of all the other girls fawning over you. So I'm gonna take this time to make sure that you belong to me. No, 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 she gonna be choking for real? Not in the weird. You hear gawking? Look, let me teach you, look. This look like a joke to you? But you was president, I can't be doing that, you feel me, cut? I can't. Still calling me president, no? Nah, I changing that to date. Come yo, here. yo, chill. Oh. Ah. <laughs> you know, we ain't about to get it for real. It's about to be my time. I've been waiting for so long. I can't believe it. Yes, sir. Yes, all right. I got that no best. It's up. I got this. Uh, president, you just <laughs> call me president? After all this, that's what you can call me for true? Nah, I, I'm leaving. I wait, leaving. nah, shorty. Oh, sorry. Wait, wait. P president, oh, wait. Now we I got Then after this whole shabakle, she asked bro again the same question and it was like control C control V. Then they had everybody else in the room calling Isaiah mean and this bro is just so confused. Look, poor Isaiah man. That was it guys. I hope you enjoyed the best fumbles in anime. Might do a part two, just might need some help finding some more fumbles. So just remember to always hit the like button and subscribe for more content from this channel. Anyways guys, I'm the Dancing Bolt and I'm clocking up.